governor is power set. Air speed's alive. 80 knots. Failure, left engine, positive rate, gears coming up. Obstacle. Lower the nose, we'll accelerate to blue line. And we'll hold blue line. That's at 400 feet. And autopilot engaged. Heading engaged. We have declared an emergency and we asked ATC for clearance to the initial approach fix. For the RNAV GPS runway 04 to Mayfair. And we're in some of the soup there. Everything's on, we're in good shape. trim so there were a couple of degrees a bank into the good engine there half a ball out climbing to 2,000 feet maintain 121 blue line we're using flight level change it will allow us to maintain 121 knots as we climb Take a look at this approach plate here. We should hit Loggy in a couple of minutes at 2,000 feet, and we will fly the holding pattern in lieu of procedure turn, which we can see right up here. Uh, one engine inoperative. At this point, identify the left engine has failed left condition lever, cut off, left propellers, propeller is feathered, left propeller lever, feathered, and left firewall shut off valve, left, closed. at 121 knots, blue line, doing 450 feet a minute with a max gross takeoff weight airplane. And it's about 11 degrees C, it was standard at takeoff. And we can see we're about uh, four miles from Loggy. Getting ready to level off. Altitude pre select is armed. And we're captured. 2,000 feet. And that's the initial altitude for the approach. And we will, we're accelerating now to 140 knots. And we get to 140, we'll pull the power back. The autopilot will fly the hold. One of, the, one of the great features of this simulator is the G1000 system with a highly effective autopilot. So we're now at 140 knots, slowing, just reducing power slightly. 
probably about uh, 1,500 pounds of torque should hold 140. Approaching Loggy, less than half a mile. It says turn left to 199. It's going to be a teardrop entry. There's an F. We're in the turn. Just a little more torque, holding about 140, and we can see on the approach blade here, I'm following the geo-referencing that's set up in the simulator, and we can get a little better view of that, just expand that a little bit. If I'd been thinking about it, I would have started that clock, but it's running now. We've used a few seconds of it. We don't want to go out much more than a minute. The GPS will make the turn. So we'll use that clock for backup. And... Uh, ATC advises uh, RNAV GPS runway 04. We're cleared for the approach and we should expect to circle land runway 22 left. Winds are calm. We're in the right turn now. Go ahead and stop the clock. 49 seconds. Reset it. It's ready to use again. In the turn. Just trying to hold about 140 knots there, just very small adjustments to the power. Rotor boost is working nicely. We've got about three units of uh, rudder trim set. Lost a little airspeed in that turn, so bump that power just a about 100 pounds of torque there. See if we can hold that 140. The airplane does a beautiful job with the. I always kind of go into that uh, habit pattern of calling it an airplane. It's a simulator, an advanced aviation training device that flies like a level D simulator. Rolling out now on. Uh, final course heading. Let's make a small adjustment here to the map and we can see exactly where we are coming inbound to the fix. The GPS will sequence into the final course, final approach course, as we pass lobby. So the next fix is Zysis. Again, all of this, part of the magic of the, uh, of the simulator and the G1000 system. Picked up a little speed and came out of the turn. I'll go ahead and adjust the power, bring it back down. And what I like to do, I'll set flight level change, adjust my speed, 140 knots. We'll stay right there, 2,000 feet. As we pass Loggy, I will select Approach. It will bring up the Glide Path pre-select. We'll just stay.
stay level until we approach the glide path. There we go. Passing uh, Loggy. Selected approach. Glide path is up. And we'll go ahead and altitude select. Bring it down to 1400 feet for now. And we now see the glide path beginning to appear. Because of the broken cloud layer, we cannot see the airport or the runway at this point. And we will delay landing gear and flaps because we are single engine and heavy. Uh, three and a half miles to go to Zeisus. We will cross Zeisus on the glide path at uh, 1400 feet and you see the glide path now coming down. Holding 140. Going to be looking for the glide path to capture here momentarily. And when it does, the aircraft will start down, the simulator will start the descent, we'll adjust the power to try to maintain 140, start to bring that power back in anticipation. There's the capture of the glide path. And we're actually on the way down. Holding airspeed pretty good there. As we descend, we're going to maintain about 140 and pulling it back a little more. Go ahead and reset this now to 600 feet, which will be our level off for the circling approach. Flight level change. And we've got altitude pre-select showing up, so it will level off at 600. We should cross Loggy or Zeisus rather momentarily there at uh, 1400 feet, there it is. We're at Zeisus and 1400 feet, no flags. Still in the weather, coming down, we're still on the glide path. When the autopilot levels off at 600 feet, it'll disconnect the glide path and we'll add power maintain stable. And adjust the uh, rudder Two here again. Taking out a little bit of that rudder. We'll end up having to put a little bit more back in. 200 feet to go to minimums. The tower says we're clear to land. Uh, expect to circle left downwind runway 22 left. Runway is now in sight as we break out at uh, 12 o'clock and we'll adjust our heading for the offset and we'll go ahead and start the offset now. Minimums. Minimums. There she's calling minimums and we're starting the turn. First turn for the circle, adding some power. Try to maintain at least 130 on the downwind here. Still holding flaps and gear. Level at 600 feet. Holding 130. We can see the runway out there. So we're taking spacing on the runway. Take a little sharper cut here until we get enough space. And we're just a little over half a mile on our spacing now. I'd like to have a, a mile to a mile and a quarter. Then we'll parallel the runway. Visibility's down. We can see it. Holding 130 knots, pulling the power back just a little bit. Just small adjustment there. The rudder trim is holding. We're going to take that uh, offset out now. Go back and parallel the runway. Staying at 600. Looking for the runway, there it is. 
momentarily will be a beam, the touchdown point. At that point, we'll start the clock. Back just a little bit. Picked up a little speed. Okay, the clock is now running. And watching the runway, got it in sight. Got the airport in sight, got the end of the runway in sight. Go ahead and start that turn to final. We'll get a nice offset and an intercept heading. I'm going to select green needles because I've got the ILS tuned. We can use that for good course guidance. I will go ahead and select flaps to landing at power. I'm sorry, flaps to approach at power. Holding 600, and we climbed a little bit there. Just watching that power. We'll come around that turn. Keep that turn going. Runway is in sight. Rolling out, disconnecting the autopilot. 500. We'll go ahead and select gear down. below minimums with the runway in sight. We'll make this landing with flaps approach because we are single engine in case we have to go around. And we're just a teeny bit below that glide slope. We're using that for extra reference. But the Bassey looks good. Reducing power now. We're on the center line and coming down. Speed's bleeding off nicely. Taking some of that rudder trim out. Yeah, we're on the runway. We can use a little bit of beta. And if we need to, we can just ease into reverse slightly. And then bring it out of reverse, bring it out of flat blades. with the rudders there. Keep us right on that center line as we bring the aircraft to a stop. And that was a that was an engine failure at rotation. Takeoff continued. Emergency instrument approach in RNAV GPS runway 04 IMC conditions back to runway 04, weather was good enough for a circle, tower uh, directed a circle, circle land runway 22 left, and that's a completes uh, the demonstration. Thank you very much for joining us, and thanks for watching.